What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we are going to be taking the sight off of a 686 Smith & Wesson and putting on an all-chin red dot mount and attaching a Vortex Venom red dot. So, uh, first thing we want to do is open it up and this switch right here pushes forward. You want to push that forward and push up on the cylinder and now you can look to see if there's anything in there there's nothing in here so we now know it is safe and clear to work on some tools you'll need a uh, screwdriver uh, you will need a number four flathead bit a T15 uh, star bit I've got a inch-pound torque wrench because I like to tighten these uh, screws down, make sure they're they're nice and snug. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, existing sight. You'll see here, there's a screw here. You want to unscrew that and take it off. Let's set the screw there. The sight slides back and then you pull it up. Set that there. And now you see we've got three holes. Now if you're unsure if uh, the, a sight mount will adapt to your revolver, all you gotta do is open it up and look in the back strap here and you can see the screw holes. If you don't have threaded holes here, this process is not gonna work and you'll have to get some uh, drilled and tapped. But most Smith & Wessons, especially the newer ones, uh, have come with them already. Alright, so we've got the old sight off. We're now going to grab the all chin. This is the uh, mini STS scope mount. And the reason why we got this one is because it comes with the uh, modular setup where it uh, allows you to mount pretty much any kind of red dot uh, you can get a hold of on here. It, it fits a lot of the popular ones like the Burris Fast Fire and the, the Vortex and uh, some of the better ones as well. So it also has a screw kit. Um, and a couple of pins that help with alignment. So uh, Get your screws out, and there are three black screws in here that you will need to mount it to the uh, to the top of the, the gun here. So we're going to take these, and these are also flat head screws. So yeah, uh, just screwdriver again. This has got a little notch on the end. It's going to go right over where the rear sight was sitting should fit right in so you know exactly where to uh, to set it so take your screws stick them in I'm at least gonna get them started there we go Two, three, and now you can screw them in. I screw them most of the way in first. I don't tighten them down until they've all seated and then go through and kind of tighten them up I'm using a small screwdriver so I don't scratch everything that we got going on here There we go. There we 
go. All right, so at this point, I like to make sure this is is on there pretty tight. So this is why I have the torque wrench. <laughs> I do this between 20 and 25 inch pounds. Um, if you don't know how a torque wrench works, it's pretty basic. You stick it in, you move it up until the, the rod gets where it's supposed to be on 20 or 25. That may not even be necessary. If you want, you can add blue Loctite to these. Uh, I would use the blue. Oh yeah, that sucker's on there. Use the blue, that way you can take it off as you need to. So next step is to put on the red dot itself. So let's pull it out. You need a couple things out of here. When you open it up, you got the red dot itself. There's a little Allen wrench here. You're going to need that. And then there's three screws sitting up here. You only need two. So grab two of those. And that's everything you need. So what you'll do is the all chin came with uh, little little pegs. These are to help line up the front end of the sight. So you'll drop those in into a couple little dots, preferably the ones that match your your sight. So they go in like that. See that there? And then this should just set right on there with the holes you need to screw in. So the two screws you pulled out of your dot sight there, you can drop those in. And then take the, the star wrench that came with your your sight start screwing it down okay again I like to make sure these are snug so I grab my torque wrench you don't have to use a torque wrench this is just for me so I feel better about it <laughs> and I'll do, you know, about 20 inch pounds just to get some tension on there. There we go. And there you have it. We have just installed a red dot onto a revolver. So, how good this came with batteries in it already. So it's got batteries. I don't know if you can see that at all. The red dot. No. Anyway. So, yeah, very simple modification. Uh, if you're a red dot fan like I am, um, you know, this makes it easier to uh, quickly acquisition your target, um, especially with both, both eyes open, and uh, be able to uh, shoot pretty accurately, pretty quickly. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun. It's the four hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace. After completing the course, you can print your certificate. Then it'll help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at reverendguns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.